Hey there friends, this is Amy from Beloved Plants and welcome back to my channel. This channel is for anyone who's looking to get more organized in their finances, productivity, business, and day-to-day -day life. In today's video, I thought it would be really helpful to show you guys how I keep all of our tax documents organized, one throughout the year, two, when they all start to come in in January for the prior year, and three, how I keep them in long-term storage. So if you are new to my channel, I would love to have you guys hit that subscribe button so you never miss a future video. Let's get started. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was just getting ready for each tax year. So usually in January is kind of when I start having this mindset about how I'm going to be organized with our tax forms and for the forthcoming year because that's typically when I'm getting everything ready to be sent to our accountant for filing for the prior year. So one of the things that I've been doing for a few years is using this filing system called Freedom Filer. I will link to it down in the description below. You may or may not have heard about it. I found out about it from the people over at Learn Do Become, which is a like organizing class that I did and took online. I will also link to that in case you want to check out more of that. It's about how to get all of your paper in your life organized and other digital things too. Anyhow, they recommended this freedom filing system and it's an entire filing system for all the papers that you have throughout your life. So part of that is the tax documents, right? So there's I mean, there's tons and tons of categories. I'm not gonna get into them now. Maybe I'll do a separate video on the Freedom Filer system. But for now, I'm just gonna show you guys the two ones I use for my tax documents. So there is an even year tax document section and then an odd year tax document section. So those are the ones that I just keep right next to each other in my file drawer at my desk in my home office. And as we have receipts throughout the year, whether it's like a medical expense, an education expense, our car tabs, anything that I know I'm going to need when it comes to filing our tax returns, I just stick it in this these hanging files. So for 2021, I will be using the odd year tax file folder. And I love that it's odd and even because you never have to change the tab out. Like if you were doing, you know, a numbered tab for 2017, 2018, etc., you'd constantly have to be changing that out or making a new folder. I love that these are just odd and even because it allows me to empty them out between each year and start over. So this year, anytime I have anything tax related, I'm gonna stick it in here. This is just a reference that I had from our um, financial planner from 2019. So I'm just keeping that in there since it's odd. Um, so last year I used the one labeled even year tax and I put all of our documents in there. So there's just stuff from a couple things from last year, just more general tax forms in there. So that is how throughout the year, the current year we're in, I put all of that stuff in here. I really don't look at it until until I get to the point where I'm prepping stuff for our tax return. So that brings me to the second piece that I wanted to share with you. So as you guys know, in January, you're like us, you have a ton of different tax forms that are being sent to you. Some are being sent electronically, some are being put in the mail like W-2s, 1099 forms are coming in if you do any like contractor work or if you have like any sort of YouTube accounts or any affiliate links, anything like that. So you are required to get a 1099 if you make over $600 a year in any sort of job, right? So if you are not an employee, they would send you the 1099 form. So I have a few different things that I'm involved in where I do receive a 1099. I also get W-2s for the two jobs that are actually three now that I'm employed at. And then we also get my husband's W-2. My son is going to be 16 now in the spring. And so he's going to be getting his first job. So we will also be getting his W-2s for next year. So this is the document once January rolls around. This is the folder that I will link to down in the description below. And I have a package, like a packet of these, and I just use them for different things. But I love that it has three different divided sections in it. So as those things come in in the mail or they're made available online, I will put them in here. So all anything that's a W-2 goes in this front pocket. Anything that's a 1099 form, doesn't matter if it's a miscellaneous, an investment one, an interest one, anything with 1099 on it goes 
goes in the second pocket. Anything that is like a different type of form or just related to our taxes, um, actually the stuff I will pull out for the year out of these folders, I just stick in miscellaneous. So as we go through the month of January, because by law they do have to have everything postmarked by January 31st. So most of the time everything comes by the second week of February, which is where we are right now. So I put all of those documents into this. So then when I get um, our tax prep thing from our accountant who files our taxes and prepares them for us, it makes it super easy for me to have everything in one place so that when I'm going through the questions for the year, I have all of the documents right at my fingertips. Now, you might be wondering, do I print out all the stuff that I receive electronically? I do not. I don't do that because my CPA has a way for me to securely upload documents to them. I actually prefer that method of delivery so that I'm not like mailing documents to them and then they send them back to me, that kind of thing. So I do it both ways. So anything that's sent to us digitally, I save into a program called Evernote and I have a notebook set up in there called tax documents. I save it in there. And then when it comes time, when I'm mailing all the stuff that was in here, and that's the reason why it's empty right now, because this past week I actually mailed all of our documentation for 2020 to our CPA. So that's why there's nothing in here. He'll send it back to them. So that all will go get scanned or if it's not that all will get digitally delivered to them through the portal that they have. So I personally prefer to not print it out and put it in here with everything. I'm not sure if it makes it harder or easier for them, but they've never told me to do it otherwise. So I'm assuming that if they can have stuff digitally or electronically, that's much easier for them. So anything I get electronically, I send to them electronically and I save it in Evernote. Anything that comes in as a hard copy goes into here until it's ready to be sent to the accountant and then I gather it all and it's all nice and organized. I have our W-2s together, 1099s, all those other forms, and that all gets mailed to them. So then, you know, they file the taxes, all of that sort of thing. So then when we get everything back, so the, the papers that I mailed to them, they will mail back after they filed our returns and done what they need to do with them. So then what happens, right? So now we're talking about more of that long-term storage for your important tax documents. So that takes me to the next system that I use for long-term storage of taxes. So I have these awesome little plastic envelopes and I actually found these um, courtesy of the Budget Mom. She uses them for her travel memories storage. So I got a package of them. Again, I'll link to these in the description. And I thought, you know what? These would actually work really, really well to just keep different sets of documents organized. So in the past, I would usually just give everything to my husband and he would like put it wherever he puts that stuff. I honestly don't even know. Somewhere in our closet. Um, But I thought, you know what? I'm going to use these pockets because I have them and I have a whole bunch of them and I thought this will keep it much more organized and then if we need to reference things it's all nice and contained if you know if it were to like get wet or something it's a little bit protected these are not fireproof or waterproof they do sell those like envelopes that are fire and waterproof I personally don't keep these documents in there just because a lot of them are electronically accessible so what I did is I actually went through my files and so I went ahead and made these different pockets for the different tax years, right? So I had stuff in my desk that went all the way back to 2017. So I went ahead and made a folder for 2017, just used my label maker, 2017 tax docs. And in here, I know our returns are usually sent to us electronically. So I do not print those out and put them in here only because I save them to Evernote, which then they're stored in the cloud. There's no reason for me to print out pages and pages to be put in here. We rarely ever go back and reference the hard paper copies of things. So everything is usually electronic as far as that goes. But this is a good way to just keep the supporting documentation, like the stuff I mailed to the accountant, so that if we ever were to be audited or needed to reference that for some reason, I have it all somewhat organized. So again, I just do it by year, super easy. 2017 tax documents, they just all go in here. Uh, 2018, anything related to our taxes, I just stick in these. 2019, and then I have our 2020. It's very thin right now because I did send a lot of that stuff to our accountant already. But then um, I do have like some medical receipts and things in here that are our supporting documentation. So anyways, so I hope you guys found that helpful just to see and understand how I personally keep our tax and financial documents organized. Let me know if you have questions in the comments below. I would also love to hear about how you guys keep your financial documents organized, things like this for tax forms and all of that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love for you to click that like button. And I'm also 
going to link over here in my monthly budgeting setup that I do in case you're new to the channel and you want to check that out. It'll be linked right over to the right right now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.